I had no choice but to leave my home. Our family didn't have any food left as our crops had rotted. My parents were too old to make the journey and saying goodbye to them was one of the hardest things I've ever done. The pot was chaotic. I turned to smugglers, paying them whatever money I had for hope of a ship. Several times, they promised I would be on the next boat. But it was many weeks and all money gone before I finally embarked. There were so many of us on the boat. In the day the sun beat down on us, at night we tried to sleep. All due together against the cold, swallowed up by the dark. Many were sick and an old man died, they pushed his body overboard. Eventually we saw land, but a boat appeared, pulling alongside us, and a man in a uniform here from the deck in a language I didn't understand. The boat began speeding back to land and I turned back towards the endless sea. One dreadful night, a storm battered us with wind and rain. Our boat capsized and all of us were thrown into the freezing water. I will never forget watching as my own neighbors drowned beside me. I clucked to some debris and eventually washed up onto foreign shores. We were thankful to be found by local people. But they seemed frightened by us. They called the officials who took us to World England, full of chanting buildings. It was a terrifying time, waiting out those months in 1846, wondering if after all had been true, I would ever leave this place they call the Staten Island Quarantine Hospital to build a new life.